Hey everyone, it is Half High here bringing another video on Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. In this video, we're going to be doing another edition of World Tournament Best Teams for Global. And in this case, the 33rd World Tournament, the last thing standing in our way between us and the five year anniversary. So, with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. And always a shout out to DBZ Space and the Dokkan Wiki for info and images provided. So, yeah, this is, this is the last hurrah, the last thing uh, we have to get through. But you know what? We should be able to get a lot of Dragon Stones, a lot of rewards, things of that nature. This is the 33rd World Tournament. It is the last chance that you're going to be able to get. Uh, um, LR Yamcha, the SSR Yamcha here, to pick up the LR Puar um, for the local rewards, right? So after that, you're gonna have to summon for him, and boy, it's tough to summon for a old World Tournament LR. Now we also are gonna get a World Tournament reward in Mecha Frieza, uh, so definitely uh, work on getting your what 32, 33 million uh, points to go ahead and grab a free unit or you know really 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 grind grind it up to get you know top what 20,000 or 10,000 or whatever it is these days so uh, anyway now let's talk about the uh, world tournament in general how I'm gonna basically build these teams here so when I talk about world tournament and best teams for world tournament I'm looking for 30 times difficulty being able to complete that very easily now if you have of course the right units and of course if they're rainbowed uh, you should be able to do this no problem now the teams that I'm gonna be building all right is gonna be featuring uh, both Tech Jocko and uh, Int uh, Chaozu. So these SRs here, the reason why you want to have these two units on the um, uh, the team is a 100% chance to stun all enemies for one turn only or once only but all you need is that one chance to uh, attack all and kill everybody on the board. So all these teams that I'm going to be talking about, basically, you're going to be running these two units. If you don't have these two units, you can run a support unit or somebody who can tank for you, but it could be highly dangerous for the rest of your team. All right, so bring, I guess, bring items uh, uh, along with you if you're going to be running without Tech Jocko or Inchatsu. So, anyway, like I mentioned before, the teams are going to be set up this way where you got a friend, you got a leader, you got a friend. And remember, in a world tournament, you're only getting the leader boost and not the friend boost. Uh, for leader skill and then you got tech jocko and uh in chatsu so you're really running four of your own units a friend and then the other two sr units there make sense all right let's go ahead and jump into it and uh, instead of like going team by team i'm just going to show you the top four real quick because the reason why i consider this the top four is it can run um double strength broly now double strength broly i still think strength broly is one of the most efficient ways to still complete the world tournament. Now, of course, the introduction of LR Nappa um, might you know, have some issues with that, but because you're able to do two super attacks, um, you know, you should be able to wipe both off the board um, or all units off the board with both super attacks. So, uh, so that's why I still have them, you know, in the top tier. I'll run it this go around and see, you know, if uh, um, if. AGL Nappa, if LR Nappa is going to be you know, better, uh, but I still think running a team with a double Broly is going to be where it's at. So uh, for now, and that, that might change uh, you know after this World Tournament. So so the top one is the one I feel like it's the most versatile and it's the easiest to get super attacks, and you really don't need too many items now. I did put Krillin on here. Now that's an iffy, right? So. I would actually probably put the um, the boo here because he has some orb changing and he orb changes to you know uh, strength units uh, strength orbs and that helps out with Broly so that is an option so I just put Krillin on here just because yeah he is a part of full power um, so he can be on this team so uh, that is an option that you can run so you can run Krillin you can run boo you can run easy a um, cell there but I'm just putting um, Krillin on this spot for now. Now you could run all, right? All attack all units right there in all five spots. And if you took uh, Turles off and put in any of these two units, then you have all the spots there. Now, the issue with that is you you know you might have to use uh, items to uh, get some key because Krillin doesn't really link up with anybody. And then Broly sometimes you're not going to have enough. Um, enough key to get to the 12, uh, 12 key super attack so um, so various different ways you can run the movie bosses in full power but you make sure you do have a physical super uh, broly full power broly there as your leader and then you're gonna run a double strength broly so I still think that's you know 
quite on top. I think all four of these, you can say, you know, it could be one of the, you know, one of the best teams on here. So, but if I were to rank, if I'm going to be running a world tournament, I'm going to rank the top one, uh, probably take out Krillin, put in the boo. Uh, we'll see. We'll kind of mess around with it. So, uh, the second one you can run will be a target Goku androids team. Uh, you once again can run a double Broly on here. You can then add, um, cell and then you can bring support units like a uh, easy, a, uh, metal cooler, right? So, this team can run really, uh, really strong as well, especially, you know, getting that Android buff or the target Goku buff, um, either one, you're going to get, uh, you know, a, a nice boost there. Now, um, you know, running the double Broly, it, it will, it will be fine, but you could run like cell, um, easy a cell on there as a fifth, um, you know, take out the, take out the cooler here and run the cell as a fifth, uh, attack all right. So AOE unit. So that's another option. Uh, so attack or target Goku and androids, a uh, solid to run on uh, on this team here. So uh, let's see the next one. Pure Saints, another very very flexible uh, team here, but you are going to be only running at 150% to uh, HP attack and defense. And remember, you're not running a double, you know, friend. You're only getting that three key there. And you can run a double Broly, but you can run a double Broly or a double Nappa as well. So it is beneficial you can do that. Now this could be a team where you can run, you know, AGL, uh, TUR, Nappa on here as well. Or you can take out Broly if you don't have Strength Broly. As you can do a little mixing and matching. Yeah, you can also run, um, uh, you know, AGL, uh, LR, Majin Vegeta. But, you know, he's he's pretty tough to run because you have to get to 18 key to get attack all. So... Um, and this is once again saying that you don't have the um, physical uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly, because um, then you could put that on the team as well. But you, if you have that unit, you're might as well going to be running movie bosses at full power. But it's up to you. It's up to you, right? So, uh, so that's the third spot. The fourth spot is Resurrected Warriors. I still like Resurrected Warriors really, really nicely. It's a really strong team that you can run here. Um, Double Broly again. Uh, you can have uh, you have a lot more uh, support options. And then, uh, you know, the, the easy a cell, all you need is an 11 key for that. That one's kind of tricky to run the easy a strength cell because you, you might end up having more than 11 key and might not be getting that a AOE off. So uh, you can then put in like Boo here instead, uh, or you can put in, of course, AGL, Majin Vegeta, um, uh, along with uh, these other units here. So either way, uh, so I think these this grouping here is um, probably... The top four, the top five, uh, because there's going to be one team that you can definitely put in the top uh, grouping, and that's going to be the next team I'm going to show you here, and that is going to be the uh, Terrifying Conquerors and Transformation Boost. Now, uh, that could be definitely in the top five or even the best one due to the fact that you're going to be running a cooler and you're going to be running two double Nappas, and having the double Nappas, uh, if you're going to be fighting a, a, against a lot of Strength Brolies, then that should be you know taking care of it very well. Now, you can exchange... Uh, the easy a uh, second form Frieza with you know regular Frieza or just bring on the AGL uh, TUR uh, Napa as well. You can run that as well. So I would say I didn't, couldn't fit this on the on the front page But since I since these are all you know double Broly's here This is the double Napa at 170% because of uh, strength cooler so uh, a lot of people would say argue that that would be like the number one spot but like I said I'm gonna try it out I say uh, the, the cooler and these units here are basically the top five teams that you're gonna be running so the rest the remainder it's a little different a little you know tough to run here you might have some issues uh, the Android without uh, the target Goku leader in um, Android 13 you're gonna be running the um, uh, the MVP 17 or the Android Cell Saga uh, cell there so that can be run there and it's still a pretty decent team but I won't say anywhere near the best for um, for the top five so then you have Time Travelers that's still a very solid team as well so definitely can use that the Super Saiyan's Plan Dynamic Saga it's kind of a goofy one you know because you know yeah you're running at 170 but uh, since you only have like you know, you know, physical units here, that might be a little bit tough if you're, you're coming across a lot of strength Brolies, right? That's the same thing for like your, your, your androids and for your time travelers. So I kind of, even though they're at 170, I'll put that a little bit lower because I think, uh, you know, Cell can, um, you know, do a little bit more than maybe that, uh, maybe that physical Broly there. So, uh, but all in all, they're all usable. So this would be in a sense the top 
eight teams uh, and then rounding out the top 10 rounding out the top 10 there's really two more teams that you can run and it'll be uh, definitely viable here uh, one's free to play so you can just run a Krillin and whatever earthlings you want to put in the middle do that run Jocko and uh, and Chiaotzu and I think you'll be you know doing okay so uh, the 30 times will still be maybe a little bit difficult you might have to use some ghost ushers here and there but uh, you know it is doable now the other team of course is in human deeds you're running a double Nappa again but only running at a 130 percent so that is optional there now since he does have a secondary leader skill of AGL you could bring um, a Turles there to support so either way uh, that can also work out as well so I would say this rounds out the kind of like the top 10 uh, you know from 130 class and above you know you could run a 120 team if you wanted to and you know there's a bunch of different options you can run so um, so running a 120 team you could run that or if you want to run um, yeah, yeah basically 120 is a secondary leader skill for Zamasu and Trunks uh, these are the units that you're gonna run so super a lot less on AoE units if you don't notice that AoE definitely is on the side of um, of the extreme side so those are all options that you can run and build a team from a 120 and it's still pretty viable for um, for the rest now if you can if you want to run secondary leader skill uh, leaders like 120 percent leader skills on some of these categories you can so if you don't have the main you know the main uh, leader um, you know, like Super Saiyans and Time Travelers and Androids and, and, and things of that nature. You can run the secondary uh, leaders as well at 120. So, but anyway, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully provided you some uh, team ideas. And uh, so whether you're going to be running, you know, these two right here with Inhuman Deeds, which I'm going to be running Inhuman Deeds a little bit just to kind of mess around with it, even some Earthlings as well. Uh, then you also have uh, Super Saiyans, Time Travelers, Androids, Terrifying Conquerors, Transformation for Boost. A lot of people are going to say that maybe that's going to be number one, but I say, you know, in the top five, in the top five here, you have Resurrected Warriors, Pure Saiyans, uh, Target Goku and Androids, and Movie Bosses in full power. So anyway, those are the teams. Hopefully you guys enjoy your grind. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go for just one copy of Metal Cooler, but I know some of you guys are going to go for like top 1000, things of that nature, right before the five year anniversary. So definitely, definitely enjoy all of it. And uh, yeah, with that, if you are new to my channel, like, subscribe, comment below, do all that good stuff. Thank you all for watching. Keep on doconing. We'll catch you next time. Later.